Hello everybody, my name is Classic Gamer. Today we're actually not gonna be playing as uh, Ashikaga real quick. We're actually gonna be doing a discussion video, and I j I just remembered something very important, and is that J Japan can flip to Christianity, and how how is that? Uh, you may may you be asking. Well, there is an event in the game where you can get. Let's see, I'm just gonna call it Christian. Right, which it trigger is uh, culture in Japan. DLC mandate in heaven is not active. Religion is not Catholic. All own province culture is Japanese. Religion is Catholic. Pro province most likely the rebel type is Catholic Zealot. Yes. So we actually cannot get this event uh, because I have mandate of heaven. But probably um, by getting the spread of Christianity. Event. I don't know when it starts. Uh, let's see what we can do. Spread of Christianity. Am I missing it? Hmm. Let me try to switch it up. Spread of Event U4. There, yeah, Shinto event. I actually should have searched this up earlier. Bam. Spread of Christianity. So we get Dainichi. So it's only triggered by the start of spread of, of Christianity incident. And then move plus three toward open. And then mission. And then after a while, you get this event. Then from event from this event so basically from this event is once the spread of Christianity incident begins okay then you can um, ban them or kind of let them in or really let them in <laughs> and then you can get this event which is probably like the after event And then we can defend our faith. So we will not be going Christianity. Pray privileges. Plus three, look on rest. Set air flag to Christian. Well, I don't know. I don't know how. I, I, I think that's how you can convert. Japan to Christianity um, because of Mandate of Heaven to Shinto. Um, in my playthrough, I'm not going to go do, go down Catholic. Uh, we're going to explain why what, why would it be useful to make Japan go Catholic. So let's just go read Shinto, Shinto first. So Shinto, no matter what, gets plus 10% 10 morale, 10 morale of army. And like I said in my first video, um, actually it goes by this. Um, I lied. Um, right? So you get these possible incidents, which, depending on how you react to the incident, will grade you on, will either increase or decrease isolationism. Now, if you d you start, everybody starts at level 1, which is adaptive, minus 10% development cost, plus 10% in institution spread. Um, when you click um, events that make you more isolationist, then you'll go down the path, and then certain events can go backwards and forward. Um, if that makes sense. And in idea variation, each religion in the game have their own idea group. So Shin Shinto ideas gives um, Hachiman, which is infantry combat ability plus 7.5%. 
uh, minus ten percent development cost, minus five percent technology cost, plus fifteen percent national manpower modifier, plus fifteen percent national um, sailors modifier, plus fifty percent chance of error, plus one legitimacy, and then after all of that, you get plus one missionary, missionary experience plus two percent, and minus ten percent missionary maintenance cost. Um. I'll go, so basically, it's a basically a very good, um, like, it's a very good military, military and, st like, stability, um, idea group. It gives you nice technology cost bonuses, um, it also complements you always getting a new, you always want an heir, no matter what, and gives you legitimacy, which will help you do, uh, more of these clicks, if I can find it first the shogunate clicks if you are Ashikaga and then not only that you get plus one missionary plus two percent missionary strength and minus ten percent missionary maintenance cost so overall a nice idea so let's go to France for example and go to Catholic so Catholic oh also Shinto you can't switch to another religion easily um, so you get plus one tolerance of true faith and minus one tolerance of heretics like I said Tolerance is so true faith is basically your religion, heretics is other religion within that group. So the Christianity religion, right, consists of Catholic, Reformed, Anglican, Orthodox, and Protestant. And I think I said Reformed, right? Right, and then heathens is any other religion besides Christianity. So you're basically gonna, you're gonna get you're gonna have very high tolerance of true faith, but not high tolerance for heretics. And also the mechanic is that um, the higher, well, the higher your development is, the you know of your country, the higher chance you'll be able to get cardinals. Which again, the cardinals allowed you to generate papal influence. Which you get a base value of 0.50 and another 0.50 for each cardinal you have. And it can be modified even further due to your opinion of the papal state. Or the papal state opinion of you, I mean. And then you can use that to get courier controller, which is all of these modifiers. Or you can just spend it up front to get one of these modifiers. Um, I do like the Catholic. The Catholic religion is very good. But it's only good if you are a um, a high development country. Bec uh, well, if you're a world power, world power Catholic is very good, and also Catholic has a has a kind of a stupid modifier, but it made sense in history. They got the Treaty of Torcidias, I think that's how you say it, um, if I recall correctly, where Catholic countries lay claim to certain parts. Of the colonial map so let's for example and let's look at the um, colonial and trade regions right if I colonize enough in colonial Brazil right let's just say mean uh, mean England are competing colonially right and we're Catholic and nobody else is competing for example right if I conquer if I colonize provinces in colonial Brazil then I have sole domain over it right so if England tries to colonize there, they will be getting a huge negative modifier uh, with the papal state. So that's that mechanic. Uh, Catholic is very good for majors, for uh, major European powers. So what about their idea group? Well, well let's see. They're going to get plus one missionary and a free cardinal seat. So a guaranteed cardinal seat. Very nice. Um... Again, every every everybody starts with a base value of one missionary. Now, why would you want a missionary? Well, just getting one extra missionary at a base value will make you convert provinces twice as fast, basically, right? And if you're converting a lot of land to your religion, one missionary is not going to do enough. You need to have more go going at once. So having an extra missionary is nice. Then you get missionary strength plus four percent and missionary maintenance minus twenty five percent. What from defined supremacy? Wow, that's even better than Shinto, right? You're getting crazy missionary strength, right? And it's twenty five percent cheaper to maintain. Again, I was playing as Tondo, right? And I was converting a lot of this, you know, 
animist land to Hindu. Holy crap, it was expensive to convert, right? And I only had one missionary, right? The Catholics have really good uh, missionary strength for conversion. They're really good at that. And it's cheaper to maintain. I don't know how missionary maintain maintenance works. I don't know how it works. But all I know that in this mod or maybe in this patch, missionary maintenance is ridiculous. Ridiculously expensive and Yeah, and making it cheaper to maintain and to make them convert faster. It's absolutely amazing Deus vote permanent cost of spell against neighboring heathen and heretics um, Again, that's very good if you you know try to want to want to F up some Muslims or some Protestants Very good. No Shinto does not have that that would be very overpowered if Shinto had something like Deus vote Woo! It is that would be overpowered because no other country is Shinto except for the Japanese, um, like country. Absolutely ridiculous. This is very good. Cost Deus Vault is a permanent cost of spell eye. It's basically an early imperialism cost of spell eye. Absolutely amazing. You can go forth with any country that is not your religion, not true faith religion, no, any religion besides you. Right? Permanent post causes bell line. Oh, wow. Devoteness. Yearly papal influence plus three. Wow! Now you'll be able to get, and get some more papal influence. Right? Wow. And then, again, you get prestige and tolerance for true faith. Basically, minus on one on rest. Then you get religious authority, cost of enforcing religion through wars, minus 50%. Um, very good. If you, Especially in Europe. Crucifix plus 7.5% morale of armies. Your freaking armies have more health. And vampire recovers people 20%. Amazing. So Catholic ideas are actually pretty damn good. And a lot of the religious ideas are actually not that bad. Not even like... I read up an idea variation. They actually updated where the animist religion actually has their own idea group. Jewish does. Doan Ashranism. Every religion now has their own idea group, religious idea group, and they're not, some of them are actually pretty damn good, right? And Catholic is very good. If you know how to use, if you know how to work the Catholic um, religion correctly, holy crap, you're going to be amazing. And and it's also important to know, Ang I think Anglican has their own, but I know for sure Reformed and um, Protestant do. So now the question is, uh, will Japan benefit from the Catholic idea group? Uh, let's see. Let's see if, uh, let's see. Uh, right. Oh, let's just, let's just check one thing, though. So, Shinto, they don't really have a, a, a lot of, they don't have a lot of, yeah, now, yeah, they don't have a lot of missionary strength, um, reduction. Right, the Catholic simply has, um, you get it earlier, right, and it's better. The Catholic just have better missionary conversion than the Sh than Shinto. Simply as that, but Shinto has all these nice things as well, but same as Catholic. So let's see what how it can be useful to switch to Catholic Japan. Okay. Again, getting that missionary is nice. Now, the free cardinal seat. Okay. Now, Japan might not be getting crazy... Um, what do I call it? Crazy papal influence due to the papal influence state. Because, let's just check out uh, um, Ashikaga. If, right? If you form an alliance distant between borders... Oh, okay, so you can still have really good relations with the papal state, but that doesn't mean, you know, you're not going to get an alliance with the papal state just because, um, uh, just because simply distance between borders. But you can technically, if you meet them later in the game when the map opens up more, right, you can set, improve relations with the papal state endlessly and get crazy, get the awesome conversion. I mean, papal influence mo uh, modifier. 
So that car free cardinal seed's not that bad. Um Yeah, it's not that bad actually. Um I think yeah, I think once you switch to Catholic, you will get the Holy See or Papacy mechanic. Right, regardless. And that'd be interesting to see because you can just click on the papal state and huh. Interesting. Interesting. Again, I never really switched to um, Japan Shinto. Then you're going to get the missionary strength and missionary maintenance cost. Again, you have the finisher of Shinto in your first two already. And they're better. And it's better. So we have that. The permanent cost of Bella against neighboring heathens and heretics. Wow. As Japan... Everybody, nobody is going to be Catholic over here, right? So you're really going to get a free Casas Belli over the whole Asian region. Very strong. Yearly Papal Influence, I already explained why that's useful. Prestige, challenge to true faith. Cost of enforcing religion through war, morale of armies. Yeah, Catholic ideas is still going to be as useful in Japan, right? Because you can, you can still get... Um, good, high enough development to get a cardinal. Anyways. Wow. Catholic Japan will be pretty damn good. I like, th I like that. I like that. Wow. Catholic Japan. Now, n the next question is, um, is it worth it just also stay Shinto? Right? Um, I would say so too. Because Shinto, uh, if I'm going to check Nahuatl over here for a second. Oh yeah, they get minus two unrest. But, as the Aztec religion has the doom mechanic, which, uh, which, I for, which, it's good and, like, it helps you westernize, but it, you have to conquer a lot of land, then release all that land, right, and all that stuff. Right? You also have the isolationism mechanic, right? Which is versatile on which you want. I I will still say Shinto is still going to be a really good idea group for you, right? But Catholic is, is also good too, right? Catholic is also good too. Wow, that is amazing. That is crazy. Um, wow. I, j yeah, I just found out, I just remembered that Japan has the chance of going Catholic. Cool. That is cool. That is really cool. I had a chance, well, I, I didn't record it, but I played as Tondo, and I conquered Japan, China, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and I had the chance, um, Tondo starts as Hindu, by the way. I had the chance to go Shinto, but I did not decide go Shinto. I did not go Shinto. Yeah, but wow, that is that is interesting. That is maybe very interesting um, meta you could think because I I'm I'm reading up at Yusunomiya ideas, right? Uh, what what's it called? Which I forgot which guy, but when one person had like um development cost minus ten percent, maybe not maybe have like no war Japan. Right, I don't know. Completely isolationist, peaceful, techn technological, major Japan. That would be pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. But, again, both Catholic and Shinto will be great for the Japanese um, daimyos and shogun. It's just how you want to th how you want to play it. Um, so, that's my opinion, and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more.